So you're looking for butterfly garden plant ideas to get more caterpillars. Caterpillars? That's right, because you know that in order to get the most amount of butterflies, you have to have lots and lots of caterpillars. And the thing that most caterpillars like is to have their host plant. So today we're going to be covering five host plants to get you the most amount of caterpillars. When it comes to starting with a butterfly garden and you're picking out that first host plant, I highly recommend our number one host plant, milkweed. Milkweed is a classic of butterfly gardens because it hosts the icon of butterflies, the monarch butterfly. Those cute little caterpillars are black, white, and yellow and are a must for every butterfly garden. Those medium to large butterflies flip, flip, flow and bring just so much beauty to your yard. And watching their caterpillars is so much fun. This is a great starter plant for kids. And when picking out milkweed, well, you have a lot of options because in the United States, we have over a hundred native types. And even in my home state, we have over 20 native types. Right here, I have native pink swamp milkweed. And that's the thing. When it comes to picking out your milkweed, while you have options between pink and white and orange and so many other colors, the best way to pick out your milkweed is by picking out what's native to your area. And when it comes to all the host plants I recommend, I always recommend that you choose native first. Let's go to number two for our host plants. Well, don't just think about wildflowers on the ground. Let's go up for vines. And our number two plant is gonna be passion vine. There are over 400 species of passion vine, and what's amazing is, is that this hosts over five different types of butterflies, including the Gulf fritillary and my home state's butterfly, the zebra longwing. This is an amazing plant because it has a lot of benefits besides all the caterpillars and all the butterflies you're going to get with this plant. Every part of this plant is edible. That's right, you can use the leaves for a calming tea, you can eat the roots if you wanted to, and it makes a fruit a passion fruit. Not the one necessarily that you're gonna buy in the store, but it does make a fruit that is edible to you, me, and the birds. So this has a lot of great benefits, but one of the best things besides all the butterflies and caterpillars you're gonna get is the flowers. Because a lot of types, including this type, the Maypop Passion Vine, well, those flowers, <laughs> they're just not those little flowers. They're BAM! three to five inches big. These are ginormous flowers that are definitely gonna attract people's attentions, including the butterflies. So at number two, consider passion vine. Our number three host plant, well, we went high and now we're going really low. Let's talk about frog fruit. Frog fruit is an amazing plant and it may already exist in your yard. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people consider this as a weed. A lot of people are putting a lot of pesticides to try to get rid of this, but instead consider leaving it because it is the host plant to three different butterflies, including the white peacock, the common buckeye, and the phaon crescent. These important small to medium butterflies are an important part of our ecosystems. And they also are really cute and a nice addition to your yard. And what's amazing about frog fruit is you can use it as a lawn alternative. Yeah, instead of going and mowing grass every single week, only do it once a season and use frog fruit instead. Number four is gonna be cassias. They range from medium shrubs to small trees that get 20 to 30 feet tall. All of them will have gorgeous yellow flowers and there are over 30 types of them, including two that are native to my home state, which is Cassia Senna or the Bahama Cassia. What's great about these is that they attract those medium to large yellow butterflies, including cloudless sulfur and the orange bar sulfur. These fast flying butterflies love to lay their eggs on this plant and have very large caterpillars which are yellow to yellow green with black stripes and be careful when it comes to these caterpillars because they do have a bit of a sting from eating toxins from the plant number five number five is going to be citrus what are you thinking about oranges lemons limes grapefruits or even calamondins citrus is the host plant to north america's largest butterfly the giant swallowtail Yes, the butterfly, that is my avatar for this channel. I love this butterfly and citrus is its host plant. Now, if you know a little bit about citrus, you're gonna say, but wait a minute, isn't that native 
range in Southeast Asia. So how is that the host plant? Well, there are native types of citrus, including the wild lime here in Florida. So consider getting the native type or get one of the exotic types so you can also enjoy the fruit and the gorgeous citrus blossoms. So at number five, citrus. So now that you have all these caterpillars, well, you need more plant ideas. And that's what's gonna be up next. Butterfly garden plants for attracting butterflies. And to make sure you don't miss it, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications, new videos each week. And while you wait for the next video, go ahead and check out this, this, and YouTube thinks you'll like this. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.